We are back in the red rocket. The mechanic never found the pin, but she's running strong. Um, there's some fish off of this uh, hump over here. I think they're sand bass. We're gonna go catch us some fish. I am tired of bank fishing and we're gonna go do something we can't do from the bank and that is catch sand bass. So y'all stick around. Hey, if you enjoy fishing and you wanna learn about fishing right now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button. We're just gonna drift around on this hump. See what we can find, what we can catch. Water temp is a nice 75. All right, go crappy fishing. Got him. He ain't very big, but I got him. Just a tiny little guy. We caught him on that electric chicken. Got him. Dang, it's a bluegill. Sunfish of some kind. I'm not very good at my, my sunfish. So, panfish. Got him. Another baby crappie. Just a baby. Let him go. I think we're gonna come back later. Cause I wanna go see if I can find some bigger ones on that on a tree in a little shallower area. I mean there's tons of trees here I could search all day if I wanted to. But we're gonna go we're gonna go down to Kelly Creek there and see what we can find. Oh, got a nibble. He got my tail. He got my tail. I'm trying to get the most out of these because they are my favorites. Got him. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure this is this is a Dean size. Oh, come on. Give me that mouth. There you go. Well, he may not be eating his eyes, but he's pretty darn going close. Let's check him real quick. Just, just out of curiosity. I don't plan on keeping any of these guys, but... Yeah, he's over 10, so... We could eat him if we wanted to. There you go. I mean, he just sucked it in, didn't even bother to go away with it. He went flying. Alright, there's just, I'm just catching a bunch of little guys, so we're gonna go to bass fishing. I'm gonna throw a spinnerbait around all this grass. Alright, let's throw this spinnerbait around a little bit. I think I'm gonna throw a frog. I'm gonna throw a frog. I'll have more confidence in a frog right now. I know it's midday and it's probably dumb, but we're gonna throw one on. If that doesn't work, well we'll switch it back up to the spinner bait. Alright, so here's the work of art. on the sun a little bit. That's the lot of weight I got, so we'll see how that does. I got him. He's took off with it. 
Look at that. First bass of the day, downsized to this little sticko. A little number one hook. And it resulted in a bass. Look at that guy. He don't weigh much. He's probably three quarters of a pound. But Heck yeah. It's always nice when you do something and it works. Oh! Admire him for a minute. Let's give him a little sniff. Yeah, that's, that's the stuff. Got a big old tail. He's long. Texas bass here. I'll let him go. He took off with it. He didn't miss around though. I forgot I was setting the hook and that ain't worth trying to fix. Uh, I think that one's gonna get cut out. I've never had one that bad before. And I was trying to yank it out and I yanked it out alright. Yanked everything out that I shouldn't have. Got it. I got him. <laughs> Let him wear himself out. I'm on the spinning reel, so. Spinning rod's not really made for huge bass, but this guy's not huge, but he's pretty good. Pretty good size here. Got him right in the snaws. Oh, he ain't a big one. But got him right in the snows. He wasn't coming undone. I think I stopped recording halfway through that on accident. I thought I wasn't recording yet. But we're going to give this guy a little weigh. We'll see how much he weighs. He probably don't weigh much. But make sure I'm still calibrated. He's probably about a pound. Yeah, I'm not too far off. 1.16. Not a bad one. Let's get him back in the water. Yeah, I switched to the spinning spinning gear. Because I kept getting backlashes on my... I had that one major backlash, which was not any gear's fault. And that was 100% James McBurnett's fault. But uh, I switched to the switched to the green rod, and I'll keep getting backlashes. Of, Man, this thing's too light for this stuff. You'll see me fish this more. I promise you that. All right, guys, it's time to wrap today up. Not too bad of a day fishing, considering that uh, it's post post front. Uh, pretty tough. Uh, when it's post front, but caught a bunch of baby crappie, caught two decent bass, nothing nothing really worth bragging about. And if I stuck with the uh, sticko, I probably would have caught a few more. I just really love the topwater bite. I'm addicted to it. That's my fault. I got myself addicted to something that's really hard to do. But nobody nobody can say that they don't like topwater blow ups. They're definitely everyone's favorite. But like always, you guys know what to do. Get out there and go catch you some fish.